Apparently, we're still locked into the Roach Motel. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Alley Update for Wednesday, March the 17th. March Madness starts tomorrow. Well, actually, tonight, I guess, if you like the NIT. In the meantime, uh, the markets are whacked. It has been as wild as you can possibly imagine. Uh, and of course, this update is brought to you by our friends and partners at the CTG Group. Uh, remember, I do have other brokers, but my preference always comes back to CTG because A, they've got great customer service. They're the only ones authorized to do our letter of direction trading, and they do trade all my accounts. So again, and plus, they've got some great managed futures products. So check them out, CTG. On, you can go to the internet or you can email me, email me and I'll get, send you one of their links. In the meantime, as we saw earlier, the Dow is up like over 100 and the NASDAQ was down almost 200. And now we've seen things start slowly come back into line a little bit, but the Dow is still higher and the NASDAQ is still down close to 100. Who knows where it's going to end up from here? We actually reversed and are now long everything again from here. But I thought and I said yesterday and I still think that this is a very key level in the in the markets where either the Nasdaq's going to make a lower high, which would tell me we're probably going lower. Okay, but again, I don't mar- I don't argue with the algorithm itself. We'll see where we go from there. In the meantime, right now we're long across the board, uh, but of course we bought the Nasdaq much lower than it is right now, so it was a good thing. Uh, in the meantime, you've got the metals which are slightly lower. Gold's been on both sides of unchanged, but it looks awfully weak, and I would expect to see. Uh, a big breakdown. I don't suspect we're going to continue to see higher prices. Now we could, uh, but we've been very unable to reach that next target of 1750, which was the key resistance. And I think we built new resistance here, so we'll look for lower prices. Same in silver. They both look really weak and in consolidation, ready to break out in one direction or the other. Uh, and uh, we are still short across the board. Now we no longer trade platinum because of the lack of liquidity, but we would be short if we were trading. Uh, the dollar is slightly higher, not not a big shake one way or the other. Uh, we are long dollars. Uh, copper is higher. We're short. Uh, net gas is lower and we're short. Um, the crude oil market has been really wild. Right now, it's back under pressure again. It's on almost a dollar. Uh, it's been almost back to unchanged. And this has been the pattern the last three days. Uh, you know, it's been down a lot and made a big charge late in the day. At the end of the day, we'll mm-hmm. see where it comes to. And of course, the bonds and the notes are under pressure, which again, makes no sense based on what the Fed is speaking today. And of course, there is Fed speak today, or the, the ignoramuses of the Federal Reserve will be out talking again. I think it's the FOMC. So we'll see what they have to say at two o'clock. And of course, the grain markets are under pressure. Now, again, this has been only every time they've been under pressure has been nothing more than a buying opportunity. So we will look for to see that continue. Uh, the meats uh, are uh, slightly higher. Actually, feeder cattle is down a little bit. Hogs are a little bit higher and fat cattle is a little bit higher. And in the softs, uh, cotton's a little bit higher. We're short. Uh, OJ is, is lower. We're long. Coffee is lower. We're short. Sugar is lower. We're short. And, co- and co- cocoa is slightly lower and we're long. And again, we are long all the grains and all the meats. So just to remind you, and of course, don't forget about our partners at Family Farms. Uh, again, they've got the same goals that we have. We want to help provide farmers with a better way to take care of their hedges and take care of the crops and make sure they save their money uh, using the proper strategies. And of course, we can't wait to get back out in the road with them. And then, of course, our other brokerage partner. And reminding you once again, I do have other brokers, but Tradier is who we prefer because A, it's $10 a month. Okay. B, we've got their API. So if you want to, you can automate. Okay. So it gives you something and, and they've got great customer service. How can I want, how can I want to pass that up? And, uh, our commodity report written by Andy Hecht. I mean, it's been redesigned, rebuilt, and just terrific. It's the best report out there. It's called Technomental. And you can now buy the individual components as you'd like. Go to bubbatrain.com. And of course, don't forget about our high school program at Patreon, P A T R O N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. In the meantime, uh, NIT starts tonight, but tomorrow we'll start with our March Madness picks. Have a great day, everybody. Be careful. 
Do not let the markets get to you. You got to be patient and wait for your pick your spots. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you later.